In the contemporary political landscape, the dynamics of democracy and power are ever pertinent topics, especially given recent developments surrounding the Citizens' Coalition for Change CCC. Under Chemisa's leadership, CCC is confronting a significant challenge in addressing an unprecedented crisis triggered by internal turmoil and external manipulations. The Catalyst of the Current Crisis The crisis unraveled when Senjizo Chibangu, self-proclaimed Secretary-General, instigated a series of controversial recalls of 15 members of Parliament MPs from CCC. These actions claimed by Chibangu to be justified under ambiguous circumstances, have sparked a fierce debate about the legality and moral rectitude of his actions. The CCC has distanced itself from Chibangu, condemning his moves as illegal and a blatant usurpation of democratic principles. CCC's Quest for Justice In an attempt to rectify this injustice, CCC has turned to the High Court. This strategic move is not merely a quest for reversing the recalls but a fight to uphold the sanctity of democracy itself. Ostello Siziba, CCC's deputy spokesperson, has been vocal in criticizing the Speaker of Parliament and President Umningogwa for their perceived complicity in this undemocratic process. The crux of their argument lies in the flawed recall procedure and the premature announcement of by-election dates. Siziba's words reflect a profound determination, we are unequivocal as a movement. The matter now lies with the court, and we anticipate the application of natural justice principles to restore order in parliament and local authorities. He further stresses the speaker's alleged reliance on a fraudulent letter, thus setting the stage for a legal battle grounded in principles of fairness and transparency. The Road Ahead and Challenges with the High Court scheduled to hear the case on November 2. CCC is racing against time. The opposition, in retaliation to the recalls, had withdrawn from parliamentary and council activities, citing ZANU-PF's alleged involvement in this scheme. CCC has now ended its disengagement and is actively seeking support from regional entities like the Southern African Development Community SADC. Significantly, Addressing the controversy surrounding the disputed 2023 elections remains a priority for CCC. We have no time for imposters, Siziba asserts. Our focus is on critical issues, legitimacy, governance, and the post-2023 election crisis. These are the cause of our efforts. Conclusion CCC's current struggle is emblematic of the broader challenges facing democracy in many parts of the world. It is not just about one political party's internal conflict but a testament to the resilience of democratic institutions against illicit political interference. The outcome of this legal battle will not only shape the future of CCC but also set a precedent for how democracy is safeguarded in tumultuous times.